Hi all, so um, what we're going to do today is just some basic uh, colour mixing and, and just looking at how to make it a little bit simpler um, for when you're painting. So if you're creating a piece, I've got this mono piece here, it's better if you pre-mix some of your pools of colour rather than trying to, to do the painting um, and then having to frantically mix up your colours. So all I've got is obviously a palette, I've got the cadmium red hue, uh, ultramarine blue, a cadmium yellow medium hue and a white and then I've got my palette knife I've got just created a little viewfinder it's quite useful because you can just c cover out some of the other colours because when they're mixed together um, on the painting they affect each other so when you're pre-mixing it's very difficult to judge the exact colour so all this does is just eliminates everything else around it so you can see it a little bit clearer and then I've just got a bit of card just as a tester so that I can make sure that I'm doing it right I'm just going to take a small section so we're just going to look at creating this cool orange as you can see there. So I've got my colours and I've got my white. Now you'll find that the, the different paints will have different tinting strengths. So for example the, the cadmium red will only need a small amount um, because it will change the colour very quickly. So I'm going to use quite a bit of the yellow and just wipe that off to keep the colours clean and a very small amount um, of the red. So you can see that's a very, very small amount there. And mix that in. So you can see how quickly that changes the mix. So you get a very vibrant yellow orange, which is obviously way too vibrant for, for what we're looking for. So what we can do is add its complementary, which is the blue. Again, just a very, very small amount to start with, because you can see already how much that has changed the mix. So we can see that there's probably too much blue in there. So back in with a bit of red. It's very much about going back and forth to get the colour right and you can see why it's important to try and do this before you start painting um, it just saves you a lot of time so if we put a bit of that on there so we can see that we need to add a little bit of white just to lighten that a bit Probably just a tiny, tiny, tiny touch of red. So obviously if I'm doing this for the, the, the actual painting I'll mix up quite a lot more. starting to get the colour that we're looking for. Just a bit more of the white. Now I think that's I think that's pretty close for the limited colours that we're using. Um, so I'll, I'm quite happy with that. Um, so yeah so it's a really just a simple way to just try and find the colours that you're looking for is just to use the, the viewfinder um, and mix up your colours that way.